Hi, this is the uh, fifth video in a series showing my, my exploits with the DX Commander Alban vertical antenna. Uh, here I show how you can use the, the base plate and your investment in laying uh, ground plane radials on the lawn uh, to get onto top band, so 160 metres. Um, worth noting all SWR readings I've taken in the shack. I uh, hope you find this video useful. Uh, thanks. So I've installed the uh, the DX Commander and put all that effort into laying radials across the lawn, uh, which are now buried. Um, I thought, well, surely there's another use I can put this base to when the, the DX Commander's not in position. Um, so basically this, uh, this video shows how I've achieved uh, top band using the base, uh, the radials, which are all now disappeared in the lawn. Uh, the lawn needs cutting, it's spring. Um, so uh, hopefully you'll find this of use. So just to test the DX Commander worked on top band, my first test was to lash two long garden canes together. Uh, I think these are about six or seven foot long. Uh, I also had some spare uh, telephone jumper cable. Uh, this happens to be blue and yellow, not very discreet, but uh, does the job. Uh, and these following pictures just show you the, uh, the basic setup where I uh, attached it to uh, the DX Commander base and ran it along the fence. So with 40 metres of, uh, of telephone cable, which is a quarter wave of 160 metres, uh, I just attached it to the, uh, the coax connection on the base. And you can see here, uh, I've just stuck the, uh, the cane down the, the centre of the, of the uh, base. And in this photo, um, you can see the DX Commander laid on the lawn out the way, but the, uh, the cane, which is not a pretty sight admittedly, uh, just stuck into the ground. Uh, and that gave me about 10 feet, 12 feet height, uh, just to raise the uh, the uh, the radiating element up uh, vertically away from the lawn. Uh, and then the uh, the wire uh, runs down the garden, uh, along the hedge, along the left, along the bottom wall, uh, and back up the garden a little bit as well with a fold back uh, to achieve SWR. So this is my uh, DX Commander top band setup. Uh, there's 40 metres of black, uh, very discreet, very thin telephone cable attached to the base, the centre. Uh, you might not be able to see this, but it now goes straight up into the sky, right up to that tree, uh, and then it makes its way through the tree, down to that uh, ivy covered tree in the bottom of the garden, and just drops just above head height down there. So from the side, you'll be able to see the, the wire this time against the sky. There it goes. It's very thin. That's about 15 metres high. And clearly, I happen to have a very large tree at the bottom of the garden. Uh, but you could use another DX Commander pole, or uh, one of Callum's 7 metre poles, or any telescopic whip. And you could just run it down to the fence uh, like I did. Uh, it ran along the top of these bushes, uh, only about six, eight feet high, down the garden, around the bottom of the garden, uh, came right the way around and terminated here with a fall back. So uh, even with a low, a low height, you can still, uh, still make it work. So here you tied off down the bottom end of the garden. Uh, through an insulator and that's the end of the cable uh, and that disappears up through the ivy back up to the tree. So here we are in the shack to take some simple SWR measurements um, just at the rig end um, here you can see the uh, band's quite noisy at the moment this is the tea time there's little uh, well there's no activity on the band at the moment um, so we just take a, a simple low power SWR test at the bottom of the band, about 1.4, further up the band, 1 to 1, and at the top end of the band, about 1.3. Now clearly um, this is just my bit of wire 
uh, if you do the same uh, your setup will vary um, and so will your SWR readings but uh, as you've seen there uh, all very usable um, I haven't measured the SWR and any of the measurements at the base of the antenna uh, I've got it all uh, sealed with uh, self amalgamating tape uh, so just quite happy with uh, with this setup so hopefully I've shown uh, you can use the uh, the investment you've made in the in the DX commander a bit further than originally designed uh, uh, use the base and uh, the radials you've buried um, I've used it for uh, top band uh, I've got 80 meters as an add-on to the DX commander uh, so when the DX commander isn't on the base uh, say on an evening uh, when I'm maybe using the dipole that I already have up, uh, I can use the uh, the base for uh, top band, that wire just swings out the way uh, down the side of the tree, so it literally takes less than a minute to connect up. Um, I've only set that up yesterday, uh, last night I tried it out again on that final setup, I've worked the bottom and the top of the UK, uh, so hopefully, uh, hopefully it'll do well uh, in, the, in the coming weeks, but uh, if the uh, if the test one that was very low was anything to go by, uh, working Croatia, uh, uh, and other and other uh, stations around Europe, then uh, then I've got uh, high hopes for the for the one that's high. Uh, thanks for watching. Hopefully this has been of use.